Ahead of the 2023 general elections, the presidential candidate of the African Democratic Congress, ADC, Dumibi Kachiko, has called on Nigerians to join him in redesigning a new menu for Nigeria as to constitute a new nation that is inclusive for all, irrespective of tribe, religion, and region. The presidential candidates who made the call at the party's presidential town hall meeting in Abuja says an inclusive government is possible because every part of the country is blessed with the talent and ability to run the country. He says if given the privilege to lead the country, its first executive interface will be with the National Assembly and will include a bill of equality and fairness. He further pledged to work with the state governors on a plan that sees the federal government investing in national trunk for power and telecoms while the state government and private sector participants focus on its state distribution. It says it will usher in a Nigeria that promotes merit, character and primordial sentiment if elected in 2023. This new Nigeria must come first before any other identification. It will be our common bond as we do away with all colonial relics of division, mistrust, and hatred. No longer will we engage based on Hausa, Igbo, Yoruba, or North and South, but on the basis of Nigeria, our only fatherland. We will, we must resist all those who make religion and tribe their mantra. It will no longer be business as usual. We will zone out all proponents of zoning and usher in a Nigeria that promotes merit, character, and know-how above primordial sentiments. Kachuku, who says he is not afraid to participate in the public debate with the presidential candidates of other political parties, noted that the interactive session gave him opportunity to present his arguments on why he was the most credible alternative for the presidency come 2023. He says, if elected, it will create an enabling environment for people to emerge in government and governance, adding that Nigeria will no longer be associated with mediocrity as its administration will invest in citizens, which is the greatest asset. This is why I'm running for office. This is why I'm running for the highest office in our land. It is the office of the Nigerian people. Under my presidency, this office will serve and protect the Nigerian people. It is a promise I'm making to you. I need your support on this journey. Because without you, without you, I can't do this. It is our collective fight. It is a generational fight for our today and the future of our children. He says running for the highest office in the land was not a decision he made on the spur of the moment, but one that has been defined by the very essence of his life, adding that it is the only natural progression for someone who has devoted his entire adult life to designing and proposing solutions for the betterment of Nigeria and to those who have managed common welfare. Kike Lomo Okeri, TV News, Abuja.